Right, in design mode, we are going to insert an active X control. Now, I'll just show you how you might do a standard one. So I held down Alt there, by the way, when I drew that, so it clicks into the grid lines. And then I'm gonna click Properties, and there's a few almost standard things that I change. If you're using one of these it's a combo box inside a worksheet, and you're using it to select items to drive other data. So the first one is we want it as a list rather than a combo. That stops people entering you know, anything they like, right? So we can rely on the output of this list being something um, that has been chosen. Special effects sunken, that's just annoying. It's all right on a, a user form, but on a worksheet, what it does is restricts the amount of space you've got to put your font in. All right, talking of which, your font size, generally speaking, you're gonna need to knock one off of it because whatever the spreadsheet you know, if the spreadsheet standard is 11, you need to probably go down to 10 to ensure that you're not cutting off the tails of things like the letter Y. Uh, border style, you're gonna need a single border, well, you want a single border on it just to make it look good. And uh, if you, you know, you might wanna change that to a black border or whatever kind of color scheme you're running. So that's pretty much it from an aesthetics point of view. It kind of looks all right there. If I switch that off, you'll see, not linked to anything, but kind of looks all right. Back in design mode, click on it again. Link cell is your output, so we can actually do that. I'm gonna put J6. It's kind of handy to have the output cell underneath the uh, drop down sometimes, just sort of hides it from view, keeps the spreadsheet looking nice. But they could be anywhere. The list fill range. Now this is going to be, you could say this range here. Now before we go and do that, let's just set that range up as a named range. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I'll just call it, because we've already got a filtered one, I'm going to call it a customer list, right? Hit the enter key, very important, don't just click out. So, I mean, that probably wasn't very clear. I was just entering it up there. If you haven't got the formula bar on view, by the way, you can switch that on and off here. But anyway, that's giving me my customer list. And so if I click anywhere now, I can go there, customer list, that's it. So I could just put on there, end customer list. But I will do exactly that. Come out of design mode. Now we've got our list right. 